What's up, everyone? Um, I just came back. I just got actually got home from class. I try to rush home, but um, what I just been hearing about from, according to like IGN and then some of the posts from Rockstar, because uh, believe it or not, I was very hyped for this, and just now that the online is out and I haven't been really, re I haven't recorded any videos of Grand Theft Auto V. I've just been playing on, it on my own, as you guys can see. Um, but I wanted to try to see if um, I could try to connect and try to attempt to try out the online for this. Um, but the reason why I'm actually recording this from my camera is that I didn't want to try to go up and set up my equipment and stuff and find out that the online doesn't really work because I was really trying to focus on the GTA V online and trying to experience for myself and see what the game is the online is going to be like and if it's any better than uh the Grand Theft Auto 4 um, online uh mode as I really recently played it but um, what I found out when I try to I remember when I used to try to play Grand Theft Auto 4 online the server stopped working and not that it's not that the server stopped working but it's just that I try to go and invite some friends from the uh the cell phone but it will say that they're online it'll have the little the GTA 4 icon next to their name, but then when you try to send a, the invite from the phone, uh, they never would get like the invite. So I didn't know exactly what was going on with that, but I just found that that was just a major issue uh, all of a sudden with GTA 4. But I don't know if you guys experienced that before with trying to invite somebody from GTA 4 and you got to send an invite from the uh, the cell phone, but they never get it. And it'll just say, oh, the invite was sent, but your uh, the friend that you're trying to invite to a party and get together with your uh, friends and stuff and try to get some online gaming modes, whether you want to invite them to, like, free mode or any, like, uh, just some of those other multiplayer modes or anything like that. And just uh, almost like the little, ter just taking over the territories and stuff like that and just, like, team deathmatch and regular deathmatch or anything like that, whatever mode you wanted to play. You couldn't really get your friends to invite just to join your game on Grand Theft Auto 4. And I just noticed that was a, just a problem. But I don't know if anybody else experienced that before. But what I've been actually hearing about this is that from what I read from the service is that you can't really connect. So I haven't really tried it yet. I just turned my uh, PlayStation on and just booted my uh, GTA 5 and try to see if I can try to attempt to try to connect and try to get the online to the GTA online game mode to try to work and see because I know you can try to do the cruise they have like what I actually see here is like the cruise you can uh, see who's ready to fight for your crew in GTA Online today um, whether they're uh, a member already or yet to be sworn in you can toggle between the crew you want to represent or find yourself a new one but uh, I'm not going to try to go and create a character or anything like that because uh, some of what I've also been hearing is that some people when they try to create their characters they they won't save so I don't want to try to waste any time but I just in this video I want to try to just show myself trying to make an attempt to try to play on play just GTA online and see if it's going to work or not but from what I've just been hearing it's just a lot of issues with in regards to like error messages or anything like that so I want to try to see if I can try it out so yeah go head straight into GTA online and you have invite only session and a close friend session and crew session and close crew session is uh, unavailable and they have a solo session where you can head into GTA online by yourself nobody else can join the session and available activities will be limited I could try this I should try solo session but I want to try and see if I can go straight into GTA online and then I'll try a solo session and see what happens so I don't know exactly what's gonna happen so I'm just gonna try it out <clears throat> so, so I don't know exactly what to expect. So hopefully, it'll work out. Your use of the saucer is subject to the following police deterrence and cooling. Them. Okay. Now let's try. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't have any stats from the looks of it. <coughs> oh, I just had to press X. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I thought it was like loading. So, I don't know exactly what to expect and see how it's going to turn out. So, <coughs> I can create my character. 
the heritage and stuff. But I'm not gonna try to waste any much any more time. But I'm just gonna just do a random character. I'll just probably just create them later. But I want to see if it's gonna try to work and try to get it to work and everything like that. So I'm just gonna make a random character. So I'll just put. This is just like a quick attempt, just an attempt to try to see if it works because I don't know exactly how the servers are or if they improved or not. But if they are, then I'll just try to go ahead and just uh, jump into the online. But if not, then I'll just uh, just put this video out and maybe try tomorrow. Or maybe hopefully the, they'll fix the issues by the weekend probably. But um, until they actually fix the issues in regards to whatever happens. And if I can't connect, I'll just be playing. I'll just put on my other videos like Saints Row 4 and uh, continue my Kingdom Hearts uh, marathon, which I'm trying to finish up that game as well, and some other playthroughs as well. So, so it's just a random character, but not my real character. But it's just a just a test to see if I can connect. <clears throat> yep, failed to. Failed to host a GTA online session. Please return to GTA 5 and try again later. So that didn't really work. I guess I'm going to try a solo session and see what happens. Because I don't know if the servers have approved, improved, or any issues have been fixed. So I want to just try the solo sessions now. Let's see what happens. I mean, I wasn't, I'm not really surprised that it's really acting like this, so... I just realized the volume is low. Well, I didn't find my remote, but I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to find my remote. I didn't realize that the volume was low. Here it is. So, but I'm not really trying to play the story right now. I want to try to see if I can try again. So we already tried this, let's try a solo session. <clears throat> I did have some high expectations to try to play this today, but but at the same time I expected it to probably crash and probably not work out as well because there's so many people, millions of people around the world is trying to play this right now. And some people try to already boot it up at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Since I'm on, um, I'm on uh, Eastern uh, Standard Time. Well, solo session works. In GCA Online, you can carry out jobs with or compete against players around the world. Take part in jobs, including races with your friends, crew members, or others, and check your position on the global leaderboards, in-game, or on the Rockstar Social Club. You can challenge others with jobs you have created yourself or bet on players to win and earn cash. This is just a solo session. That's all you can pretty much do, probably. Or is this just the intro for it? You can store your own collection of cars and motorcycles and garages that you can purchase around the map. Challenge others to tennis, golf, and many other activities. So there's my <laughs> random character. I was just trying to see if it would work, but let's see. I'm from the looks of it, you can the solo session actually works. As you play, you will gain reputation points. Performing jobs and taking out enemies will increase your rep points. As your RP increases, your rank will increase. This will unlock new weapons, equipment, and abilities. Your rank is showing at the the top of the screen. You can press down on the D-pad to display your rank. Catch the key to success in GTA Online by apartments, vehicles, and entertain yourself and others with various activities. You can earn cash by performing jobs or purchases. Okay, I couldn't read that. Finish reading that. So this is Lamar from the story mode. Man, dog, I 
I'm glad you're here, man. It's all kinds of opportunities in Los Santos. I mean, that's if you got the nuts to pull them off. And don't even trip, man. Your boy know people all over the city. Like, the boy Hal. I want to skip this, but I want to see if it will work or not, because I'm not really trying to play it right now. I was just trying to see if I can connect. Let me see if I can skip. Can I skip it? Nope, I can't. It won't let me. So, I don't know how long this is. I was trying to see if I can try it out, but... From the looks of it, just the solo session only works, not the actual GTA Online game modes or anything. I don't know how long this cutscene is though. I'm trying to see if I can, what else I can do. small or nothing wow as soon as he walked into the portal it failed to look it says failed to join now I got a trophy all of a sudden <laughs> off the play it says failed to join jobber activity return to GTA online wow as soon as he uh joined in now look at the uh now it says let me see Oh, the camera's blurring out for some reason, wasn't focusing. But it says there has been an error joining a session. Please join or return to GTA 5. Wow. At least I got a trophy for try for just a test run. I didn't even have to do anything. But from the, that's well, I guess the servers are down. You can't you only get like a, a limited amount of time at the solo session, and then as soon as you try to start something, you can't really do much. So that was just a test run.